Hey everybody, I just wanted to go over the uh, Atmel Studio uh, 6.1 beta version. Um, this is kind of a follow-up to the previous video on the Atmel Studio with the Arduino. Uh, the, uh, the beta 6.1 version is now on their site. If you go to the atmel.com, over in the support links, you're going to see a download at Atmel Studio 6 link. You just click on that and it's going to take you to your download page. Uh, if you already have your uh, other version downloaded, the Atmel Studio 6.0, and you have that installed, all you need to uh, download is the actual 6.1 beta build 2440 installer. That's a 400 mega download. Uh, so go ahead and grab that. I've already got mine downloaded, and I have the new uh, Atmel beta 6.1 uh, installed. I have them set up here side by side. The uh, window here to my right is the Atmel Studio uh, 6.1 beta and uh, this one is the uh, original 6.0 service pack 2. Uh, the beta version fixes a few of the uh, uh, bugs that uh, were uh, in version 6.0 uh, most notably the uh, inability to uh, automatically add libraries, additional libraries to your templates so that we actually had to, if you remember from the previous video, we had to actually go back in there and uh, tell our project to uh, import the Arduino uh, uh, core libraries. Uh, now with the version 6.1, that's uh, done automatically in the template. Uh, just want to go over a few of the differences. Uh, when we go to uh, the 6.1, the uh, template uh, Packages uh, aren't the same. They need to be upgraded. So those templates at Omar uh, Francisco, uh, we discussed in a previous video, we're going to have to update those. I'm not going to go over that right now. Uh, if we select this as a version 6.1, we select a new project, and we go to our Arduino 1.0 sketch, and we'll just leave it named Arduino Sketch 1. We're going to make a template out of this. We click OK. It's going to ask you uh, if you want to back up the existing project before we uh, uh, upgrade it. We're just going to go ahead and just click upgrade. Um, just to show, show you the, what, what we've done now the, in that 6.1, we click Alt F7 to bring up the project properties box. We go to our tool chain and down here into our linker libraries. Before we had to add the, uh, the core libraries from our Arduino, well now they're automatically imported from the template which is a, saves us a step right there off the bat. Um, you're going to have to go ahead in the 6.1 version uh, since this is installed side by side it doesn't overwrite version 6.0 obviously as you've uh, seen you can run 6.0 or 6.1 in this beta version um, you're going to need to go to your tools and uh, set up the Arduino uh, programmer as we did in the previous video um, Basically, it's easy enough. All you need to do is just type the title, whatever you need. You need to point it to your AVR dude file. Um, that's typically in your Arduino's uh, IDE directory. And then the arguments uh, are the same. And I'll post uh, I'll post the the arguments file down here below too, so you can paste that in. The only thing you're going to need to change is you're going to need to point it to the uh, AVR dude config file. So, go back here. So again, uh, here's our main file. We'll just call this uh, hello world or how about hello atmel 6.1. Okay, we take the project and we build it. it very happily uh, builds it right out of the box, which is great. And if we go to our tools and our Arduino programmer, it broke. <laughs> Okay, so let's 
So, what are we going to have to fix? Okay, so it's trying to... Uh, I see. It's trying to... Uh, it's looking for a main hex file. Uh, so we just need to close this. We go back to our Arduino sketch here and compile it from here. The... Uh, the program is automatically going to, if you uh, use that tool, you need to have the actual project in name, otherwise it's going to look at the, the file name that you have open and uh, try to find hex file for it. Uh, let me see if I can't fix that for us right now, because that's we definitely want to have to go through all that every day. Okay, so it's still broken. Go down here to extern we need to, if we change one of these uh, the item file name that's where it's hanging up on it if we change that to say the project file name is going to have the extension cppproj We use target name. Let's try that instead. What the heck? Ah, and that fixed it. So in your script, if you uh, go and uh, change the uh, that uh, last. Uh, macro uh, name there to uh, the item file name then uh, you'll be uh, you'll be all set to go and again we'll uh, look at that external tools need to change that to the uh, target name instead of the item file name then uh, you should be able to compile this with uh, any one of these uh, files open test it again yeah it's looking right that's how we want to do that so anyway um, what we need to do now is we need to export this as a, a template so we don't that's a bypass step instead of having to ask us about upgrading each time we won't have to deal with that um, there are a couple things I do want to change in here as far as the optimization. We we'll want to change that to uh, optimize for size, make the code as small as possible for our Arduinos. Save that. And uh, we'll go back in here to the file menu. We'll hit export template. We're going to create a project template from this. And we're going to name the template uh, Uno, since this is what the libraries are compiled for, the uh, Arduino Uno. And uh, we'll just call it 6.1. And this is the Uno template for Atmel Studio version 6.1. The icon image, um, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and use the same icon images as uh, Omar installed for us. So what we need to do is, um, if you haven't seen it already, that your Atmel Studio is going to go ahead and install us the folders into your documents file under your Atmel Studio and it has a new file here for 6.1 this is where your uh, new 6.1 sketches or uh, project solutions are going to be stored but what I, what I want to do here is I want to go into our actual templates and the project templates and this is the original Arduino sketch template I want to go ahead and extract the files out of that 
okay, it's, then I want to be able to, I extracted the files in order to use these images. So if I go back to the screen and the icon image, if I browse in my documents, um, I go to my templates again, project templates, Arduino sketch, that's a folder we uh, extracted. Here's our icon, I want to grab that, and the preview, we'll point to this JPEG, and hit finish. And it created a new folder in our Atmel Studio called My Exported Templates. And inside of there is going to be our new Uno 6.1 template. And if you look in the uh, program templates, it's also going to be in here. So if we close the solution, and we go back and view our start page, we're going to see in our new projects. Down here at the bottom is the Uno 6.1 project that we just created. Click OK and it automatically opens it up without asking us uh, about the upgrade step. The main CPP, here's our Atmel 6.1. Build it, make sure everything's cool there. Happily he uh, compiled it. We can go ahead and uh, program our Arduino. Okay, and if we hit view, and I have not installed the terminal window yet, so that'd be a good place to go. We'll go here to our extension manager. You're going to have to install the terminal screen for this, just like we did in the previous version. We'll just type serial. And click download. And it's downloading the terminal, and we'll install it, and there we go, we're installed now. Looks like we need to restart Atmel Studio in order for the changes to take effect, so, yeah, oh crap, we'll have to do it. Go ahead and clean a few things up here. Okay, so it restarted our uh, 6.1, and now we should have our view terminal window, and we can start that up. We are at uh, 9600 on that sketch, so we'll connect. And here we go, hello at mill 6.1. Okay, well, that's about all I got for now. Um, I'll do, we'll do another video uh, going a little bit deeper into the, the programming and uh, showing off some of the features of the new Atmel Studio uh, programming the Arduino. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to leave me a comment, and uh, thanks for watching.